for months, News 5 has been investigating a series of apartment buildings on Cleveland's east side and the deplorable conditions inside of them. Tanita, the latest mounds of mold and mushrooms growing in a bathroom and the mother who lives there claims management has done nothing. News 5's Jordan Bannenberg joins us live with a story you'll only see on News 5. Well, the woman we talked to today says household cleaners haven't worked and neither has gallons of bleach. And now she's worried for the health and safety of her three children. Inside the red bricked walls of building B12 is a family that paints together and stays together. But in the bathroom, what is it, fungus, I guess, is the landscape that no one wants to create. The mushrooms that grow out, this is when they die, I guess, or get wet or something. Hattie Henderson's bathroom has become a living biology lab. From January, I've been complaining to them about this mold in the bathroom. I have little kids in here, and they're just telling me to, like, well, spray it with bleach until we get there, and they still haven't did nothing about it. She's lived at this Boardwalk Apartments building for 18 months. She also has three small children. Henderson says property management is well aware of the issues at her apartment, including the sinking floors, rickety staircase, leaky pipes, and yes, even the mold and mushrooms. I'm just like calling, calling, calling. This not safe. I got a two-year-old. She can go in there, pull it up, thinking like I thought it was a flower anytime. We told y'all to give us two to three weeks, and that was all the way in June. It's August now. Bleach and household cleaners can only do so much. Henderson believes the mold is deep inside the walls and floors. I don't know what to think no more. I just think they just... Like, don't they don't care, period, I guess, because it's low-income housing. And For months, the Michigan-based companies that own and manage Boardwalk Apartments have come under fire for allegations of deferred or non-existent maintenance at the low-income, federally subsidized housing complexes. Henderson's account sure won't extinguish it. I most definitely feel like they don't care. They don't, this, all these apartment units have kids in there. So it was like, they don't care about the kids either. They don't care about the kids' safety. Like, how haven't y'all been out in six months to get this mold out of my bathroom? Company officials could not be reached for a comment, but in the past, they've told me that they fix whatever they can as quickly as they can, and they strongly defended their maintenance track record. Reporting live in Cleveland, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.